a few tips about shortcut keys with the curve tool. So when I go to my curve tool, make it active. When I left click in the viewport, I create new nodes. That's something that you already know. When you hover over one of the nodes and left click and drag, you move it. Not a big deal. But when I shift click on a node, I move the node and I move all the children. So shift clicking on a node moves all the children. Middle mouse button click deletes nodes. Like that. And then to add new ones, I have to select the previous one and then I can add new ones. Like that. And control clicking on a node constrains the movement in one axis. So when I control hold the control key and lift mouse button, click and drag up and down. Now when I drag to the left or to the right, my node only goes up or down. And, then, and the same thing when your initial movement is to the left or to the right. So control click and drag to the left. Now my movement is constrained to the X axis. I can drag it up or down. And you can also press Ctrl and Shift to move all the child nodes with it and constraint on one axis. So when I hold the Ctrl and the Shift key and drag up, now my movement is constrained on the Z axis with all the child nodes. And the same thing when I hold Ctrl and Shift and go to the left or to the right. And sometimes you have to redo that. Yep. So now when I drag my mouse cursor up or down, doesn't work because I'm holding the control and the shift key so my movement is constrained in X so middle mouse button click deleting nodes left mouse button click when you are in add mode then you move or you add nodes shift click you move the node with all the children and control click constraining the movement to one axis or control shift click constraining the movement to one axis and moving all the child nodes with it and with the side node this also works on the other curve types hope you found it useful bye